Hello every pony! This video is going to be dedicated to showing you Elliot's dark and troubled history as a character. Now, Elliot is one of my main characters currently. He is Ash's twin brother. He is himself a digital artist. He is very much like me when it comes to his creativity. He makes his own characters, he likes to draw cutesy stuff. He's especially fond of the cute side of the furry type fandom. He has his own fursuit, and it is really cute. I've drawn it, and I've actually based it off of this version of him, which is the very first version of him. But that's simply not the design anymore. I'm sorry to disappoint for anyone who wanted him to have an edgy fursuit. That's no longer the case. Anyway, this red and black dog is what Elliot started out as. This was his first design, and it was a pretty... Uh, you can tell it's based off of the Neopet loop, or however it may be pronounced. This one right here was actually what he turned into when he became a Neopet. In other words, when I made a Neopet with his name, he basically stayed furry until 2010, in which he became this sad looking dude. And in 2010, I turned him human, or demon, I made him a demon humanoid, in order to give my main character, Ash, this one, the feminine one, the more feminine one, I wanted to give Ash a twin brother, because at the time, Ash was a girl, I had a fascination with fraternal twins, and I wanted a male-female twin pair of characters. I was never into, like, shipping siblings. That is not something I was into then. It's not something I'm into now. But I really like the ideas, the idea of a male-female twin duo. And that's exactly what I did with these two. And that is what began their relationship today as best friends and twins. This next drawing comes from the year 2012, I think? This one, when for some reason Elliot had brown eyes and Ash had gray eyes. Ash's hair was longer, Elliot's hair pretty much set in stone the idea of the twin's hair for many years, and I had a very basic and limited fashion sense for my male characters, so all he wore was jeans, a long sleeve shirt, and a black vest, as you can see. Ash dressed pretty simply too, so they kind of matched each other. And he was, he was from the start, depressed, but he covered this up with his really happy and cheerful external demeanor. He started off as the happier twin, so right off the bat, he was the one who acted so much more upbeat than Ash. At this time, Ash was edgy and, like, super mean and, like, unfriendly. They were what the kids would call asocial, maybe even going as far as to say antisocial, because I think they were pretty harmful to other people around them. But... That's not the case anymore. Elliot, however, was never the dangerous type. Despite this, this 2013 drawing that may imply otherwise, that was just him being creepy. I loved creepy art at the time. I still do. It was probably more visible then than it is now, but this is him from the year 2013. During this time, I think I was 16 years old, and Elliot at this time was 18 years old. He and Ash were 18 up until I turned 19, in which they aged with me. 
This is another drawing from 2013, which showed that he had begun to enjoy wearing women's clothing or feminine clothing more so. He more notably wore the underwear in some drawings, which was intended to be a joke, but it turned serious, and I have since stopped taking it in a joking way. I don't, like, think of it as, haha, funny. I think of it as, that's just him. And that's okay. This drawing, I think, oh, I know it's from 2014, and that is because of the way I drew the eyes. I colored their eyelids or their eyeliner, whatever you may want to see it as, with their eye color. And at this time, Elliot's eyes finally matched Ash's. They were gray, and Elliot began wearing more and more effeminate clothing. He especially liked the frilly, loose, droopy kinds of clothes, frilly, lacy, and he was always more casual than Ash, which explains the sneakers, which he still wears to this day. Later on, this two is from 2014 and I still like it. I really liked the stylization of it and I loved how simple it was. This comes from 2015, I think, and he grew more fond of stuffed animals during this time. He, I turned him into a character who made his own stuffed animals. He had cuter and cuter interests. He just became the epitome of cutesiness. The epitome of cute. That is his, that is his character description. And he was always super loving with Ash. He never had any bad ideas about Ash ever. He always like idolized them almost. Meanwhile, Ash has always loved Elliot dearly. Their relationship has always been really good. They've loved each other. At most, they have communication problems, but they never have anything such as fights in which they are angry at the other. Instead, it's more like they get angry at themselves for upsetting or hurting the other if that's what happened. And I've always been a fan because that's one of the most positive relationships in my character universe. This drawing right here is from 2016 in which Elliot just grew more to be who he is today. Very feminine, very upbeat, very cute. And he is a very big fan of stuff like cute Snapchat filters, like this dog filter that so many people seem to hate, but he's, he's all for positivity and he likes it. Now down, you can tell this drawing is from 2017 only because the eyelashes are overly long. I had that trend in my art in 2017 that I'm no longer a fan of and kind of wish I hadn't done, but that's, that's just what happened and I can't change it. I can just look back and say, wow, I liked my art more than I used to. But Elliot just remained the same, mostly. He has always been the cheerier character. He... He basically became more and more fashionable as time went on. He became more oriented towards fairy K and Decora fashion, which you can see in these outfit references. In this, this is a redraw, and at the time, the story called for scars on his neck, which are no longer there. Elliot no longer has any scars on his body. But that was the case at this time, and this is about a year after, a year of redrawing. This drawing is from 2018, I think, and he is super sparkly in it. He remained the cutesy character. This is from 2018 as well. And he it, he's showing his monster claws in this one, which I had never drawn him with before. His white ones, at least. I rarely draw him with his monster claws out because he's rarely in the emotionally unstable state where they are warranted. That usually happens when Bailey is concerned, because Bailey is the one who upsets Elliot, or if Arata is concerned, 
Elliot is upset enough to withdraw his claws or to shapeshift, basically. Otherwise, usually the claws are not necessary in the art of him, so I never draw him with them. Ultimately, Elliot has turned into this character. He is a very happy character, almost outwardly. When it comes to inside, he has his own issues. He has he experiences depression. He has severe depression, even more severe social anxiety. He has so much trouble when it comes to his relationships with other people. He has like no friends. His relationships mostly rely on him, Ash, and whatever few friends he does have. And most of the friends he does have happen to be online friends. He is very much relatable in my case because he is based off of that aspect of myself. The one that relies on art to stay stable, the one that uses the internet in order to form his relationships, things like that. He is very much my character who I would think most people would relate to when it comes to the people I've known because he is a part of the art community, he suffers from his debilitating illnesses, He's trying his best to make everyone else feel better so they don't feel the same type of pain he feels. Things like that. Anyway, that would be the most of the evolution of his character. Thank you all for watching and listening, and I will see you another day. If there are any characters that are developed that you would like to see videos on, I would be glad to make them as long as I would be motivated to draw them, of course. But feel free to recommend anything. Thank you, and I will see you another day. Goodbye.